Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I have so much to talk to you guys about today, right babe? Yeah. We just got back from the swimming pool. It's time for dinner. We're gonna make an amazing tomahawk steak tonight, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, so first, your meat choices. Meat is definitely going up in price lately, right? Uh, it's like crazy. Like twice as expensive It's as crazy. It there is still companies out there that have reasonable deals on really, really good quality meat. Mm -hmm. So we're getting our meat lately from Meat and Bone. They're a company out of Florida. They'll ship anywhere in the United States, like second day air. It comes frozen on dry ice and their meat quality is fantastic. You have to check out their website, meatandbone.com. We love them. We've ordered like yeah. seven times from them. They're really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. And we sent them an Instagram DM and we're like, hey, we're gonna talk about you guys on a YouTube video. And they're like, okay, use the code COP and BABE and we'll give all your audience a discount. So that's super cool. We don't get paid for it or anything like that. They have the best ahi tuna. Too. They have phenomenal oh fish, phenomenal meat. They'll ship everywhere. It's really, yeah. really good. So today we got our tomahawk steak from Meat and Bone. Check this out. It's a beautiful tomahawk steak, G1 certified. It's amazing. And it's reasonably priced. Yeah. So we're gonna use Rustlin Rob's steak dust. Yeah, babe. We got that from Texas. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna be outside on the Weber kettle. We're gonna be using Jealous Devil charcoal. We're not gonna use any wood today on the Weber kettle, but I'll show you how to set up a charcoal barbecue mm -hmm. to do a reverse sear tomahawk steak. It's gonna be epic. Yep. It's gonna be a good dinner, babe. I'm Swimming, excited. tomahawk steak. Can't beat it. All right, and here we go. go. So we're outside on the world's smallest, messiest patio, the Jealous Devil patio. And let me show you how I set up this Weber kettle. So the bottom vent is going to be a pencil width open. And let me show you what it looks like on the side here. You're gonna to wanna to keep that at a pencil width open. We're gonna have the top vent on the lid open a pencil width. I'm gonna drop in my slow and sear. I'm gonna drop in my drip and griddle inside the Weber kettle. And you can see that I have a lot of leftover Jealous Devil Max briquettes from last time. This charcoal's fantastic. It burns super hot, it takes a long time to burn, and there's always leftover. If you snuff it out at the end, there's always leftover. So I'm gonna add a couple more pieces, a couple more briquettes of Jealous Devil Max, and then I'm gonna just be super lazy today, and I'm gonna drop in two wax Weber lighter cubes, and I'm just gonna light that one side. I want the charcoal to slowly work over from that one side over to the next side because I don't want it to get too hot. I want my kettle to run at approximately 250, 275, and I'm gonna do that reverse sear on the tomahawk. So this is how I set up my Weber kettle grill. Now let's go and let's season up the tomahawk. So the rub that we're gonna be using today on the steak is the steak dust from Russell and Rob's. It's out of Fredericksburg, Texas. They claim that it is epic. Salt, pepper, garlic, heavy rub, and it's gonna be really, really good on steak. We got this meat and bone steak. It comes vacuum sealed. It comes on dry ice. Babe knows this, right, Babo? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna cut this open and there's really not much more that you need to do on these. And that's why we love this company. They literally send it to you exactly how you need it. Their butchers do all the work. Okay, so Babe the hand model, and it's kind of wet still, so I think that we don't even need a binder. Right, Babe? Yeah. Let's we'll sprinkle that on, give it a nice, that bark is going to be fantastic. Let me pat this in. You guys, when you're doing your barbecue, it's important to pat it in so that you get a good crust on it. If you rub it and stuff like that, it's not really going to be beneficial to you. Yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's finish up with our barbecue and we'll get this steak grilling up. Okay, so our charcoal barbecue has come up to temperature and we're gonna take this lid off. So you can see our Jealous Devils right here. Our Tomahawk's gonna be over here and we're gonna be constantly monitoring the internal temperature every 15 minutes or so. We wanna get our lid back on and we have our vents I don't know if you guys could see this. The vents are over the meat. The vents are not over the charcoal. A charcoal barbecue, super inexpensive. Jealous Devil, the greatest charcoal on earth. Get yourself a little instant read thermometer. A good quality steak from a good quality company like Meat and Bone. You will not be disappointed. Fantastic meal for your family. I'll tell you what, it smells phenomenal out here. It's been 30 minutes. 
Let's check some temperatures after 30 minutes. 111, 115, 116. All right, so we're getting there. 118, 119, 107, 108, 110. So we're getting there, it's perfect. The way to get your charcoal barbecue like really hot and spicy to do that sear now that we're coming up to temperature after 30 minutes, just leave the lid off because there's more oxygen. Oxygen, fire, hot, it's gonna be spicy, and the Jealous Devil works fantastic. So I'm gonna leave the lid off for a couple minutes. That charcoal's gonna get really, really hot, and I'm gonna sear it, maybe like a minute on each side, flipping it, checking temperatures. Finally, I wanna get it to like 125, 130, that's where I like my steaks, and then I'm gonna let it rest on the board, so let those juices go back in, and then I'm gonna slice it, and we're done. We're gonna have an epic, epic meal. Guys, when you're all done with your barbecue, button it up. Close the top vent, close the bottom vent all the way, and you'll have plenty of Gels Devil for the next time. It's time to get this beauty inside the house to rest. You can already see the juices. It's going to be amazing. So we have to roll our top tier channel members. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are the ones that make this all possible for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our top tier channel members. Oh. I'm not too tired. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I was taking a nap. Oh. Are you ready to have steak? Yeah. All right. Let's have steak. Babe, do you see all the juices? What's uh, going on here? How could you miss them? How could you miss them? Okay. And of course, babe, you know, and I know, we cut against the grain. Mm -hmm. So let's cut this off the bone real quick. Oh, oh my man. gosh. Oh, wow. It is just falling apart, babo. Okay. So let's do that. We'll leave the bone there. So, what? It, look. Tongs a clacking. <laughs> Tongs a clacking, babe. Babe, I did this medium rare. I mm, hope yeah, you don't I, I hope you don't mind. I can tell. I like it medium rare. Ooh. Oh babe, that is a juice. Juice alicious. Get your bite. I'll get my bite. Oh yeah. Hold on, let me show the folks. Let me show the folks. Oh, Baby girl, look at how juicy that is. Did you get your bite? Your okay. bite is double the size of mine. Well, I know. That's okay, cheers, babe. Pieces. Let's go. Mm. Okay, that rub is rocking. Mm -hmm. That, that, oh, wow. Wow. Russell and Rob's. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's really good. That is juicy. Wow. I feel like I'm glad I got a big bite. Wow. Now I need one more bite. Mm -hmm. Holy good gracious. Because that's going to be gone in an instant. In an instant. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. Wow. That wow. was really good. Okay. That rub is great. That rub is really good. That steak is great. Yeah. It's a great price. It's so tender. Wow. You guys, make your steak like this. Charcoal barbecue, reverse sear, easy. Get yourself a husband that lets you take a nap and makes you a tomahawk. Yeah, get yourself a husband that lets you take a nap and make a tomahawk. <laughs> All right, babe. It's time to grub. Okay. Are you ready? All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.